What's up guys? Yes, we picked up another 350Z. But we got it jacked up right now, taking a look at it. Like the, when we picked the car up, the one of the rear wheels was kind of laid out. They were saying that he slid into something and damaged or broke something, but I don't see it. We'll let you guys see that in a second. But this is a running, driving 350Z. I got a pretty good deal on it. The only, the only negative to it is it's automatic. But the interior is not too bad. Like I said, that's really the only sucky thing about the car right there. So it's dirty like most $500 cars would be. But the kind of backstory on it is like some younger guy had it, he crashed it, rebuilt the whole front end. That's why everything's all mitch matchy. And then apparently crashed it again. <laughs> so he slid into something. Like it smashed right there. And what's up, buddy? What's up, Dino? And like smashed right there. But yeah, what I paid for this thing, I can't complain at all. So I'm not mad about it. But we're gonna adjust this lower arm to kind of get the wheels basic where they're just, they look somewhat straight. Um, Cause this car is probably not ever gonna go on the road. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I have like, I'd say it's probably like a half acre little field behind my house. So we're just gonna cut a little path in it and just drift the Z in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did that in the next video, but this thing, the tires on it are like really bad. So I was going to take the wheels off the wide body car and throw them on this thing and uh, just get it ready for tomorrow. So Donald bought like some garbage little BMW. He gonna oh he, he's going to come over and get the gap sauce. That's <laughs> what's about to happen. Oh my God. Oh my, hey, <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely got to do something like can't see it, but all these tires are like bald, and the, the fronts are even showing wire, so it's not too bad. Like I said, it's nothing. Nothing special, like this 100% stock except for lowering springs. That's pretty much the only thing I can see. So, but yeah, not to bore you guys too much with the little ins and outs and stuff. We're gonna fix that real quick and throw those wheels on it. So, let's get that knocked out real quick. All right, guys, it's actually the next day, but we got the wheels put on this thing. Look at that, makes a big difference. But the, the offset on these wheels are like, you know, not correct. Threw some spacers on there. It's a nice size space on the back, but that thing looks all right. I mean, it, it looks like crap, but you know what I'm saying. Looks better than it did on those 17s. But if you look at this back wheel, you know, it's fitting in pretty good. And <laughs> you come over here, eh, not so much. So they were saying, the previous owner was saying something was broke back here, but I crawled around there and looked. It just looks like it needs to be adjusted out, so. I'm gonna take care of that. Maybe vacuum this thing out, because it is pretty, pretty gross. And of course I stopped by the car wash and pressure wash this thing. If you didn't see the, the short I have on YouTube. But it, the whole entire car looked like this. It was just crusty. And pretty disgusting. So. Yeah, I'm gonna finish cleaning this thing up, see if I can fix that rear wheel, and then probably in the next video, we'll take this thing into my field in the backyard and just slide around and have some fun with this thing. So that's gonna be pretty much it. Like I said, I will leave you with the finished result of fixing the wheel and the interior and everything, and we'll see you on the next video when we're actually drifting this thing in the backyard. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.